Hello, I'm Kain on the Tech Pro, and today we continue from tutorial 7 how to find an element within another element. Alright, in previous tutorials we've covered how to search an XML file searching for the a specific attribute or searching for a specific test. But now we are going to search for an element within another element, that is tutorial 7 let's say how to find element within another element how to find an element within another element if you want this uh, uh, this program I could actually send it to you just uh, leave a comment with your email and I'm going to mail it directly to you public void gets elements within element or let's say find element within element within element okay so on this very one we are going to use a different XML file so as usual we are going to start by saying uh, defining an X element variable x element dot load um, okay I'm going to use another file before now we used an, a file called books x element dot elements remember elements all right so we want to search uh, within the nodes or within the element so let's look at a different XML file let's take for instance this one no not this one let's look at books 2 uh, no okay let's look at this one plain as okay all right so take a look at at this location we also have a uh, city and state okay so we have plain ads this is the root element and we have different ads inside for each of the ads we have year we have make I mean I like this so that to become a little clearer okay we have year we have make we have model we have location description and we have seller seller we have uh, two attributes that is fine but location has two internal uh, nodes or two internal elements so how do we search within the location and search for the particular city or state that is what we are going to do today so this time we are going to search the states not just the location but we search inside the location and search in the states all right so how do we do that let's call it ads because we have a list of uh, ads here uh, we have a list of ads all right so what we are going to do is to also write a link query we have to write a link query that says var um Oh, ads ads okay equal to now we have oh let's call it filtered ads filtered underscore ads let's make it a little meaningful filtered ads equal to from add in ads okay it's as simple as that anytime you are writing a link where remember choose a variable name and then this is the name of your collection this collection here you now specify uh, where add dot elements add the 
um, elements location dot elements states all right I explain what is happening to uh, happening here it is such in the node called location and it will go right into the internal node called state and search for the value dot value equal to um, let's say we have Missouri we have Missouri so okay. so where this holds we now select add okay so that is fine So we, we can close this so that we can exit from this query. So what it's going to do is to go to the location element and go to the internal state element and then search for this value. So as usual, we are going to look and display everything. So we just say console.writeLine uh, Adds for the states of Missouri. Okay, put a new line, put a new line. So you iterate using for each, for each the adds in where in filtered. Ads, okay. Because this time we've gotten the list of ads for Missouri, which is this, using this query here. So let's display, let's display. So console dot right line. And just say um add dots. Or can just write add to this write the whole add. Alright, so if we start okay, let's go to our main file and just get the correct function. Get access. Oh, let's get the name of the function. Find element within element. That is the name of the function. Dot find something is wrong find element within element supposed to give us the intelligence ok let's go again fn dot find element Alright, this is it. I don't know why it's not giving us the intelligence, but this is it. So it will display all the ads for the state of Missouri. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so we've not loaded anything as you can see. So the name of the file is plain ads.xml. So put the name of the ads plain ads.xml. And as I told you before, go to the properties of this and change the copy to output to copy always. If you don't change to copy always, it's not going to uh, see that XML file. So if I run it now, it will show us. Whoa. Hmm? Says unhandled the section are called in additional information reference. Undeclared entity C. Wow. Line 5, position 13. Undeclared entity C. Okay, let's take a look at this.
Okay, so oh, this is a little strange. Let's build the project and see build solution. Let's go to plane ads. Alright, so let's go back to our function. Okay, so we have ads to be the root elements. I think we need to Declared entity in line 5, position 13. Maybe there's an error inside this file on line 5. Oh, we can see this. So you can see we have a problem in here. We have this make. I don't know how it entered there, but let's just undo. Maybe I entered something wrongly. Okay, so let's just call it make is a uh, um, whatever just to correct the error so we go ahead to run it on declared entity C so it's still showing us error okay that is this alright debugging is one key thing you need to learn Debugging is very, very important because it might take you uh, a few minutes to develop a program, write a program, takes you an hour to debug. So, adds for state of misery, it finds nothing. Alright? So, we have in filtered adds, var adds in filtered adds. Right line. The value. Let's say a two. Um, a two. I'm thinking it's conflicting with the name we've already used before. So if I run it now, add for the state of Missouri. Okay. Okay. This is not the problem. It simply did not find anything. That is the simple answer. So let's open the XML file and get it correctly. States. We have location and states. Let's go. Uh, elements adds dot element location dot element state dot value. Shrony. Okay. So you see, there's a problem. So for from adds in adds, okay, and that is fine. Where add the element location dot element states dot value. I think it's correct. Um, select adds. Okay, let's put a breakpoint uh, here to see if to find out exactly where this program is coming from. So let's run the program and see. So filter adds, you see, so results, nothing. Okay, so it's not getting anything 
there. So the problem. Okay, let's see. Let's remove this. Okay, I think I I I think I have okay in adds dot elements sorry let's get back oh this is a kind of problem I really don't like. Um, from ads in in ads. Okay, where add dot element location dot element state the value. Everything seems to be okay. Oh, 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 you can see. So here you need to use ads. <laughs> so, so here you have ads because this is what contains everything. Oh, so just put it. So you see, so I think it will work now. So ads dot elements location dot elements states because we are searching through everything. Oh no. No. I think it's correct. All right, so um Okay, let's remove this. So let's go ahead to run to see supposed to search out something where adds dot element location dot element states dot value okay let's try let's try to do something just a minute I mean, let's try to do something so let's say in adds dot element in ads uh, okay so I, I can't really say where this problem is coming from so let's say x element the element plane for sale doesn't give us anything okay so we are searching Okay, 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 okay. So, so this is the solution to the problem. Now we are going to search through the ads. We are going to search if we are searching, we are going to search through starting from this ad. So what it means is we are going to say ads the elements add. That is where we are going to search. Okay, so if I run this program now, okay, I'm going to stop this tutorial now, and in the next uh, tutorial, we are going to solve this problem before we start. I'd like to thank you for viewing.